Many music recordings are made with the players performing to a click track, a metronome. This ensures that the recorded audio waves will line up with the bars and beats in the DAW's time roller, making musical edits easier and more efficient. But sometimes the audio does not line up with the bar and beat roller. The musicians may have performed without a click, with their timing shifting musically in response to the dynamics of the piece, in musical terms, a rubato performance. Or the audio may have been imported from a source where the original tempo was unknown. In these cases, it may be necessary to line up the music with the current session's bar and beat ruler. This can be done in two ways. Time shift the audio to match the tempo of the current session, or change the session tempo, making it follow any subtle variations in the recorded tempo. The latter approach is called beat mapping. Various DAWs offer slightly different ways of going about this, but it involves locating transients in the audio that fall on bar lines and matching bar lines in the tempo ruler to the corresponding downbeats and beats in the recording. The methods range from automatic beat detection, which sometimes works okay, to manual dragging of bar lines and beat markers to line up with the audio. Since beat mapping preserves the human timing of the performers, the resulting tempo is actually a series of slightly shifting tempos, a tempo map. But this does allow for a number of benefits, like making audio or MIDI loops follow the original performance tempo, and, of course, making it easier to rearrange musical sections of the piece by making quick cuts on the downbeats.